started swimming lessons when I was six or seven, and then I moved to competitive swimming when I was eight. When I was younger, I played flag and tackle football too, and volleyball and basketball with the school. But after grade seven, I stopped all other sports and just swimming. Golden light, I like the challenge and practice. It's a lot harder than other sports training-wise. Typically, I'd wake up at around 4.40 a.m. and then eat breakfast, which is say like a bagel with peanut butter, and then drive to practice in the morning. Practice is from 5.30 to 7.30. We do around 6.5 to 7K. And I have classes from 8.30 to 2.45. Then I would eat a snack before swim practice again, which would be around 4 to 5.30. And then after that, we have dry land from 5.30 to 7 in the gym. My friends at school, don't realize how much determination, how much commitment you have to have to the sport to be at a high level like this. They don't quite understand how much hard training goes into it as well. You don't get a lot of recognition for how much work you put in. Like, say if I was this good at like basketball or football, you'd be a lot more of a star than you would be like in swimming. Even though in my opinion it takes the same or more amount of work. In my opinion, hard work is more important than your physique, I guess. Last March, I competed at the Canadian Olympic Trials, and that was a really good experience. It was really motivating to see a lot of people making the Olympic team. Sean Baker started coaching me two years ago, and it's been really beneficial. He helps push me to my limit in practice every day. Well, training with a team is really important. The guys I train with, it's really competitive in practice, so that's a lot of fun to make yourself better. And they're always really positive, so it's a really good team environment to have. Swimming's taught me that hard work pays off and it's not a sport. If you put in a lot of effort, you're gonna get out a lot as well.